Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. You guys remember watching uh, Teen Mom where Nova was sent to like preschool for the first time. It seems like that preschool, the owner of the preschool, her husband is a registered sex offender. So I'm gonna read you guys the details. So Caitlin took to social media last week to expose a daycare by the name of Cozy Corner Child Care Center in Kimball, Michigan. Caitlin had discovered that the daycare center that Nova attended back in 2018 is connected to a registered sex offender. Caitlin also posted on her Instagram account a post made by a man named Kevin James where he put, get your kids out of Cozy Corner Daycare ASAP. Tim Bamberskirk is a effing predator who molests kids. I have countless messages detailing his predatory behaviors. That word sounds familiar. Chris is just as dangerous as her husband. Chris is actually the owner. Cozy Corner Daycare needs to be shut down immediately. Uh, Caitlin wrote on Instagram, I'm absolutely disgusted. Please, if you have kids that go there, please remove them ASAP. Hashtag save the children. Caitlin went on to post a screenshot of the reviews of the daycare center. Also, um, a screenshot of Tim's profile on the registered sex offenders list. And she made sure to put it out there that Chris owns the facility and Chris is married to Tim. Tim was registered with the Michigan Public Sex Offenders Registries um, back in 1994 for one charge of criminal sexual misconduct in the fourth degree, which is force, um, and it's attempted. So he attempted to force a child to um, engage in sexual activity with him. She also opened up about how she felt to discover that the daycare that Nova went to um, belongs to the wife of someone that is on the sex offenders registry list. Um, she talked to Celine Magazine and she said that she was never informed of Tim's past when she met with Chris back in 2018. She said that the facility at the time had a really good star rating and everything seemed well. She said that she had found out three days prior to this interview that Chris's husband was on the sex offenders list for doing something to a relative of his. Caitlin said that Chris had never mentioned her husband being on this uh, sex offenders list. Caitlin believes that Chris wanted to hide the fact that her husband was a registered sex offender. She said, thank God that Nova was only there for a few months. And she also talks about the fact that she showed Nova a picture of Chris's husband, Tim. And she asked Nova, has she ever seen this man? And Nova said no. She said she actually asked Nova like five different times just to be sure. And each time Nova said no, that she's never seen the man. But she said she asked her that because um, it actually came out that Tim has been at the daycare and he takes the kids off by himself on their nature trail. So it's really disgusting to find this out, to hear this, that someone can own a daycare facility and be married to a registered sex offender. I'm glad that Caitlin was able to find this out so she can put this information out there for people. Uh, she put it out there in their area. She lives in that area. So hopefully everyone will be able to, to get access to this information and they can do whatever they need to do to protect their kids because... You would, I don't know, I would think that if you are on the sex offenders list that your spouse cannot legally own a daycare or be a teacher or anything like that. And I hate to say that. And I know sometimes people get convicted of things that they really didn't do. I know that. But when it comes down to it, all that I care about is kids, like the kids, my kids, other people's kids. Like if a teacher teaches and her husband gets uh, arrest it for something to that effect, then unfortunately to protect the kids, even if it's a possibility that it didn't happen, I would rather see that the kids are not subjected to something like that, uh, you know, over like the teacher keeping their job. Like in the end, uh, our kids are very important and we need to protect them. So I'm glad that Caitlin was able to put this information out there. Um, Caitlin says, do your due diligence when looking for childcare for your children, run background checks on them, 
talk to some workers that work there, find other parents of kids that go there, and talk to those parents. Just check and double check. You can never be too safe when it comes to your children, and that is absolutely correct. I absolutely agree. So, what do you guys think about that? If you guys live in that area, do you know of that daycare? Leave me your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section below. If you are not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that right now. Give this video a thumbs up. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.